What is the future of music? Well, there's a pretty broad question. <laughs> it comes from Michael in New Mexico. And Michael writes to me and he says, Hey, Paul, we have all sorts of music making equipment and techniques now. Yes, we do. How long before AI programs, artificial intelligence programs, make music for us? I'm not saying it'll be good, made by soulless computers, but what's your take? Regards, Michael Walker. Well, thank you, Michael. And of course, as you may know, or may not know, I don't know what you know, um, AI is already heavily involved in composing, producing, and playing music. I would say, well, I don't have any hardcore percentages, so I'm going to have a PMF. Y you all know what PMFs are? <laughs> My wife likes to make fun of me. They're Paul McGowan facts. So they're mostly true. They're, they're based in, in, in my knowledge of stuff. So let's give it about an 80%. <laughs> but they're close to being true. I, but here's what I do know for a fact. There are a number, and I can't put a percentage to it, of video game manufacturers who use AI programs to um, build variations and compose on the fly music for their video games and, and how it works is it, it's fascinating. So if you're playing some of these more advanced video games, you can go in places where no one's gone before. So it used to be when we had like, you know, Donkey Kong and whatnot, it was stage one, two, three, four, it was all scripted. You went from here to there to there. Some of these games today use AI and well, you know, depending on the circumstances, you've got this, this, and this, and you're trying to acquire that. You can go places where perhaps no one's ever gone before, and they make music specific to the circumstances on the fly, which is amazing. And they've got millions of people doing, you know, or playing these games. Really amazing. And the music's not bad. I've heard some of it. It's pretty good. M music is an art but it's also a skill that's learned. You probably know that, I think, oh God, what, what, what was the number I heard somewhere? 60, 70% of the, of the hits, of the big hits over the last 10 years have been written like by four guys, maybe a girl, in, I mean, I don't know, four, by four people. And it's, it's a, a learned skill, Beethoven. Mozart, all those guys learned their trade and their skill. They learned the rules of music. And then, of course, they put their soul and their inspirations. The, the things we talk about uh, are humunculus inside of our head that makes all this work, you know, and we, we think we're, you know, divinely inspired. Mm, not so much. <laughs> we get inspired. I'm not sure with, uh, anyway, we're not going there. Okay, so. Yeah, it's, it's becoming more and more. It is already happening. It is already prevalent, and we will see more and more of it. Imagine for a moment that, that if I knew the rules, and I don't, I, I know some of them, for crafting music, this follows this, add a little bit of tension, come to the hook, do the chorus. You know, there are, you can read up on it. You can teach a computer to do that. And then maybe a human goes in and creates a melody. The computer takes it from there and bangs it out. You know, a hundred different variations of it. So, yeah, it's coming. It, it'll be here. And someday, like most things computer, it'll probably do better than we do for much of it. But connecting computers to emotion, to knowing what can connect to us emotionally, yeah, we can, we, can, we can teach rules to do that, but for the same reason why we can't have formula hit movies or formula uh, songs that always work, some of it's just that, you know, had to be right for the times or whatever. So I, I think you're going to see a lot more of it. And you know the crazy thing? You won't know it when it happens. It'll just happen. So... That's the future of music. Okay, take it easy. I'll talk to you tomorrow.